SGLI is a year-long program involving students from all over the world who come together for two weeks here in Hawaii. There's a collegiality that's built in because we want to develop cooperation and collaboration between these student leaders. So this year we had students from four schools in China, two schools in Japan, one school from Singapore, one school from Jordan, and we had seven schools from the United States, six from the mainland and then Punahou in Hawaii. So we spent two weeks working alternatively but also together on projects that have to do with leadership and then projects that have to do with energy. When we learn about the energy situation in Hawaii and around the world, we're looking for ways to make it cleaner and more sustainable. We learn these things together uh, so that maybe in the future when we have to make decisions, we have a global view. The Institute obviously does need to bring everyone to work together. And so it must be international for it to function properly and actually nurture real leaders for the future. The biggest thing that we want to create with SGLI is we don't want it to be a class. These students are high achieving, they're leaders. So one of our goals was that it would be very experiential learning. There's actually a lot of cool things that we do. We go on a lot of field trips. We went to the Kahuku Wind Farm, which is awesome. And we also went to the Marine Corps Base Hawaii to see how they're implementing clean technology in the military. I did really like watching that documentary, uh, Carbon Nation. That sort of flipped the switch for me. And we had a great panel of people, like the Lieutenant Governor of Hawaii was there, which was phenomenal. My favorite activity was probably the hike. I didn't think it was going to be my favorite activity to wake up at 4 a.m. The minute we started hiking, I was just like, oh, it was worth the wake. And it, we got to the top and I was just like, I'm so happy I actually did this. So our goal was to bring in as many speakers, present as many simulations to the students so that they could get their hands dirty and really learn from the experts that are out there. We had a number of you know, CEOs of green companies come in, professors uh, and people like that. U.S. Secretary of Energy Stephen Chu held a video conference with our students here and I know that was a huge highlight for the students and really made them think about how important of a topic this is that the U.S. Secretary of Energy took time from his schedule to conference in with them. So I think hearing all those collective messages was a real positive for the students. One of the goals of SGLI is to get the students to practice island style living. Living on the U.S. mainland, it's really tough to think of the mainland as an island. Or if you live in China, to think of that country as an island. Hawaii has a very unique energy situation because they have access to lots and lots of sustainable energy that I didn't know about. On the other hand, I think they rely 95% on oil. It's a big problem, but also a big opportunity. Many people in Hawaii have a great consciousness that they should make a difference. They should learn how to use renewable energies. We have all the resources available to us for clean energy. I think that we really have the Aloha spirit, so we're able to reach out to everyone that comes from different countries, and we can work together. So the biggest thing is their final project that they'll go back to their school with. Their final project is an idea that they come up with here during the two weeks, and present to the rest of the group and other individuals on the final day that they're here. And the goal is that they will stay in contact with one another, be in collaboration, for whatever their final project idea is. And that they'll go back to their home communities with what they've learned here and look to create change at home. We tell the students to take that change within steps. So start with one person, one person that they can change, and then from there build out so that we have these global pockets of change occurring. I think final projects uh, is, are, are require you to think of something that you can do in your community and can really make a difference in your community. For our school, our focus is on solar energy. In my school, students have learned from the textbooks how solar energy is, but they have never really seen it. Our plan is to set up a solar energy charging stations for mobile phones. We're going to refit a community center to make it more energy efficient. So we're gonna change all the lighting from incandescents to CFLs, try to install a solar water heater, paint the roof white, and then we're going to put up signs around the community center to educate the kids that go there about energy efficiency. Our idea right now is to get a PV module, install it in this area we call the courtyard between the student union and the dining hall. We 
talked to Sidwell, asked them if they would collaborate with us, and Sidwell agreed. Then Rin Man heard of our collaborated idea and they said, hey, that sounds nice, let's do that too. Maybe we can have international competitions between us, you know, compare how many watts our school use compared to theirs. It's exciting to have chance to collaborate with people all over the world. I definitely think I'm a different person from when I came here. Like now I have a lot more friends from different cultures and I know how those cultures work. And they're all from different religions and all different walks of life and I realize that no matter what people say, we can work together and everyone can unite for something that's bigger than themselves. Looking back at the last two weeks, I believe SGLI has completely changed me towards thinking of other nationalities as one. And so instead of reminding myself that, oh, he's from Singapore or, oh, she's from Hawaii, I was just like, oh, he's a guy and she's a girl. We're both going to college next year. Let's see if we're applying to the same schools. So SGLI was able to open up my eyes. I think the greatest amount of growing, at least, comes from realizing how universal a lot of stuff is for a lot of people, uh, especially the kids from other countries. Do you realize you're not that different? On the other hand, it means you can really relate to a lot of people. It offered me the chances to uh, get to know with the students all over the world. We build relationships together, and I think maybe it will be a lifelong social network, and this is really helpful. I can collaborate with them, I can communicate with them, and work together. And I think that's what we really want to create with SGLI, that 20 years down the line, these students are still in contact with one another, and they're still important in each other's lives, and hopefully they're creating change together, wherever it might be.